Praise the Lord, dear brothers and sisters. Previously on Sunday, we have seen the grain offering which was given by the people, the offerer, the priest everywhere, doing their duties. Only three things were mixed in that. One was flour and oil and frankincense. With that, they given the offering, the grain offering. After making the bread, only honey and yeast were not used in that. They break the bread, pour the oil on it and put frankincense on it. And after that, the priest will take some part of it and burn it on the burnt offering of the altar. That we have seen previously on Sunday. Today we are going to see Leviticus chapter 3. That chapter tells us about what they are going to do with the peace offering. The peace offering chapter today it is. We are going to read that. So before starting our chapter, we will ask God help in prayer. So that God may help us to understand the chapter which we are reading and help us to learn some life lessons also from it. <laughs> Let us ask God in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, previously on Sunday, as you were with us to understand the Leviticus chapter 2, helping us to understand how the grain offering was given at that time. Today we are going to read Leviticus chapter 3, the peace offering. Help us to understand each and every word which we are going to read in that. Help us to understand and learn some life lessons also from that. In the precious name of Lord Jesus Christ, I say, Amen. The Peace Offering, Leviticus Chapter 3 when his offering is a sacrifice of peace offering, if he offers it of the herd, whether male or female, he shall offer it without blemish before the Lord. Again, herd he should offer as an offering, and without blemish it should be, it can be male or female, anything. And he shall lay his hand on the head of his offering and kill it at the door of the tabernacle of meeting, and Aaron's sons, the priest, shall sprinkle the blood all around on the altar. So these people after taking the herd, the calf, anything, it may be from the herd and they have to put their hand, the people, the person who is offering that sacrifice in front of the priest, in front of the Lord, he has to put his hand so that all the sins which he did may transfer to that calf or goat, whatever it may be from herd they are taking. Then he shall offer from the sacrifice of peace offering and offering made by fire to the Lord, the fat that covers the entrails and all the fat that is on the entrails, the two kidneys and the fat that is on them by the flanks, and the fatty lobe attached to the liver above the kidneys, he shall remove. And Aaron's son shall burn it on the altar upon the burnt of sacrifice, which is on the wood that is on the fire, as an offering made by fire, a sweet aroma to the Lord. After cutting in pieces, they are going to take the fat which is on the intestine, the kidneys and the liver, and everything, whatever, the fat that is present, the liver also, the kidneys also, and the intestine fat also. Everything they have to take the fat and burn it on the altar. Nothing the fat, they should not eat the fat. Only they should burn that. Only to God it will be. And Aaron's son shall burn it on the altar upon the burnt sacrifice which is on the wood that is on the fire as an offering made by fire a sweet aroma to the Lord. If his offering as a sacrifice of peace offering to the Lord is of the flock, with, whether male or female, he shall offer it without blemish. Now first herd we have seen, now they are going to sacrifice a flock, offer a flock. This is for the person who don't have any herd, means like middle class people. At that time, the herd one, they are rich people. These people, a flock one, the middle class people, little lower than the rich people. So they can offer this. If his offering as a sacrifice of peace offering to the Lord is of the flock, whether male or female, he shall offer it without blemish. If he offers a lamb as his offering, then he shall offer it before the Lord. And he shall lay his hand on it, the hand of his offering and kill it before the tabernacle of meeting. And Aaron's son shall sprinkle its blood all around on the altar. Again the same thing. Whatever they did with the herd above, the same thing they are going to do with the flock also below. But this time the middle class people who do not afford to have a herd with them. Then he shall offer from the sacrifice of the peace offering as an offering made by fire to the Lord. Its fat and the whole fat tail which he shall remove close to the bone. And the fat that covers the entrails and all the fat that is on the entrails, the two kidneys and the fat that is on them by the flanks and the fatty lobe attached to the liver above the kidneys he shall remove. 
and the priest shall burn them on the altar as food and offering made by fire to the Lord. And if his offering is a goat, then he shall offer it before the Lord. He shall lay his hand on its head and kill it before the tabernacle of meeting. And the sons of Aaron shall sprinkle its blood all around on the altar. Then he shall offer from it his offering as an offering made by fire to the Lord. The fat that covers the entrails and all the fat that is on the entrails, the two kidneys and the fat that is on them by the flanks, and the fatty lobe attached to the liver above the kidneys he shall remove. And the priest shall burn them on the altar as food, an offering made by fire for a sweet aroma. All the fat is the Lord's. This shall be a perpetual status throughout your generation. In all your dwellings you shall eat neither fat nor blood. So we have seen the peace of him today, the herd and the flock. And after that last we have seen that God told us not to eat blood and the fat that is on that. That should be to the Lord's only. The herd, the flock, whatever the fat they may have in the intestine, the kidneys, the liver, all the fat that they have to take and burn it on the altar only. That should not be eaten, the blood also. Today this is the end of today's chapter, the peace offering, Leviticus chapter 3. Hope we have understood something from it. But nowadays these sacrifices are not being done because Lord Jesus Christ came into this world and only one sacrifice he did for all of people. It may be female or male, anybody. For all people, God came into this world and sacrificed, taken all our sins and gone up to heaven. And again he is coming now. We have that hope. And God told while going that God is going to make some mansions up in the heaven so that we may go and dwell there after we die in this earth. So this is the chapter which we have read today from Leviticus chapter 3, the peace offering. Let us end this session with a prayer. Our Heavenly Father, today in this chapter, Leviticus chapter 3, we have understood how at that time people used to give the peace offering. They used to bring an animal, the innocent one, without any mark, without any blemish, my father. They used to put their hands on the head of the animal and cut it, my father, so that the sins these people are doing may transfer to that lamp and make it an offering, my father, to you, that you may receive it and forgive their sins today in this generation we do not need any offering because you came into this world shown us a right path and died for us on the cross you do not have any blemish my father you didn't do anything then also you did all for us my father and gone to heaven and you are preparing places for us and you told us that you are again going to come in the day of resurrection my father help us to be in the Resurrection day is my father so that we may also be taken up to heaven and live with you forever Help us to gain the knowledge about you that all these are the Old Testament the New Testament Which is to come is to be followed help us to understand everything according to your will in the precious name of Lord Jesus Christ I pray. Amen